We're going to try to catch some fish. Our goal for the day, best five, 23 pounds. Don't know if it's achievable or not. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm out here with Knox hit again. 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 Decided to come to the same spot uh, where Knox caught two big ones yesterday. I'll put that video up in the top right if you guys want to watch that. But we're out here between storms. We woke up this morning. It was storming pretty bad. Kind of cleared up a little bit. Weather channels are saying different things, so we don't really know. Hopefully we don't get killed by lightning. That's That would be a huge plus for the day. My mom would be pretty happy about that. But we're out here pretty windy the wind shifted it was coming out of the east southeast yesterday now it's coming out of the southwest it looks like we're gonna try to catch some fish our goal for the day best five 23 pounds don't know if it's achievable or not yesterday we had like 21 and a half so we can we can do it i don't think they would leave their areas that quick we're just gonna have to figure out how to catch them uh we're gonna try to go off what we learned yesterday and what we learned from last week which is once we get up to mid lake don't go offshore. It seems like once we got there, we weren't catching anything out there. Don't know where the fish went. But once we came closer to the dam, that's when we kind of were able to pattern them a lot better. So we're going to throw a big worm. That's what we've been catching most of them on, a drop shot. But we're going to try our best. Best five, 23 pounds. That's the goal. All it takes is five bites. So that's where we're at right now. So just got out here. It's blowing. Seems like it's always blowing. But we'll get back to you, hopefully with some big fish. I'm going to put the chesty on. I'm going to put the camera on the back. Hopefully we'll be able to capture it. It's not raining right now. Yet. Maybe it'll rain later. I don't know. It's blowing. It's going to be wrapped up, I think. Maybe a good one. to 23 that's all i know that's a good one 504 let's go dude that looks like fish right there Get him, Knox. He was like in there. He's gonna jump on the other side of the boat. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. Oh, you're fine. He's fine. He's down there. Something kind of control motor. Knox it fishing YouTube channel. I need to see. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's barely hooked. Knox, get him in here. 
Say your signature line. That's why you come to Lake Conroe. That is why you come to Lake Conroe, and <laughs> that just <laughs> fell out. <laughs> 608. 608. That helps the cause. Hey, you, you can let that fish go <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what I was doing. Bang. All right, folks. So you, so you can just see, I was literally sitting down, we just pulled up to this spot. And I was pulling out the camera to do a focus on update. I was messing with the camera settings because I'm still an idiot. I don't know how cameras work. Knox goes up there. Sets the hook into a big one. It was actually wrapped up in the pile. In the pile. Took him a couple seconds to get it out. His line's frayed. He's retying right now. But that's beside the point. Got two big ones so far. I got one that's like 504. That one was six something. Got like two three pounders maybe, and then a two and a half pounder that we have still. I don't know what that puts us at. Goal still 23 pounds, it's easily attainable. I think it's like 130 right now. Kind of ran around some more, I think, that that storm kind of shut our bite off. Uh, that's what it seems like, because once it started raining kind of, we got bit when we first got out here, it wasn't really raining. It started raining, we stopped getting bit. Uh, ran around for a while didn't get anything going this is the first time this is the first spot that we kind of fished on this side of the lake oh, yeah. we're in atkins right now uh just a main lake point with a brush pile on it i think we're sitting in 14 12 or 14 feet which is same as what we've been catching them on same depth so kind of cool but uh yeah this is the first time i've ever fished this pile i've had it for like a year glad we did glad we did uh, I actually couldn't see that fish, so it kind of makes sense that he was wrapped up in the pile because it must have been super deep in the pile, so we're learning stuff. So, yeah, we're going to keep looking around in Atkins. Then, I don't know, if we run out of brush piles in here, we might look for some more, but then we might go to Walden and see what's going on. So, so we'll get back to you with more fish. I gotta, we got to see how much weight we have. Uh, this is the deeper one, so... Hopefully it's the good one, you know? Another good. We're working on a bag. Cast of that brush pile was in the middle of it. I pulled up to the top. Mirage just dove back down, set the hook, turned out to be this one. Terrible. 5 p.m. right now we got three big ones we need two more have about 21 to 22 pounds right now just need one more big one to reach our goal and we need two more big ones to get a dang good bag uh, these fish it seems like they're pulling up all these storms moving it seems like it's perfect conditions for these fish to feed it's post spawn they're hungry so seems like whenever we cast to these brush files it's the first cast they some of them are hitting it on the fall some of them are hitting it right like when we're at the top of the pile and pulling it straight back down to the bottom What's, what's consistent between these bites is that they're all on brush piles on points. 
Uh, we had some fish the other day that were in some brush pile and rocks, so it's kind of hard to tell if they were in brush pile or rocks. Um, but today it's definitely that they're on the brush piles. We're catching them only on the brush piles and not nearly as much on the rock. We're gonna keep doing that. We got a couple more hours of uh, sunlight left. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I was just telling Knox, uh, I ate Popeyes last night. I, you had Popeyes too, didn't you? <laughs> this kid had Taco Cabana for lunch and Taco Bell for dinner. So maybe that's the good luck. I had Popeyes. I used to think if I had a burger before a tournament, I would do well. Not that I would eat a burger. Not that if I ate a burger, I would do well, but I could only do well if I ate a burger. It's kind of that old. Yes, yeah, so now it seems like Popeyes is it. So I don't know. I thought maybe a little Caesars for a little bit, but it definitely <laughs> seems like Popeyes is key right now. So maybe we'll go back there for dinner. I don't really know. But we'll get back to you with more fish. Come on, Knox. Be a biggin. Be a biggin. Is it? Good. It feels good. Alright folks, I literally just got done with the folks at home update, so I think the folks at home updates are good luck for Knox. Because before, I was about to do it, and he caught a big one. This one's not as big, but literally right after I got done with it, he set the hook, he's like, that one feels better. How big is it? 407. 407, I'll get this kid. We've definitely hit our uh, goal of 23 pounds today, so that's pretty cool. Get a release on this one. Adios. Look at him. Look at him. We're on a bag. Yeah, I'm not saying it will be good, but it's got it's got the ingredients. It's got the ingredients. And that's just the recipe, folks. Main lake points, you know. Brush piles. 12 to 14 foot. Wood bluegill, wood crappie. Easy meal. Line it up going into the wind, folks. Always. If you got a heading sensor like that, that little puck over there, it's way easier to hit these brush piles if you're downwind of them. So you just catch straight in front of the boat. All right, folks. We've been running around the past couple hours. I don't know when we caught that last fish. I think it was about 3, 30, 4 o'clock, something like that. But we've been running around since then. We got our goal today of 23 pounds, but we thought since the fishing was good, we'd bump it up to 25 pounds just to see. So we just need to cull by two pounds, which I guess is kind of a big feat once you get up to this weight. But we just need one more five pounder. We think we can do it. We've been running around like madmen trying to figure out exactly where to go. So now, we made our whole loop around uh, spots close to the dam, uh, thought we're, places where we thought one could show up. Now we're starting to go circle back around and hit some of the stuff where we had caught fish because it seems like these fish are reloading, which is what it seems like to us. Definitely could be wrong. So far we're wrong because we haven't caught anything more. But we're just gonna try. Uh, maybe got 30 minutes left of light. I can't really tell. 30 minutes left of light to shoot with the camera, so then maybe we'll just call it because we're both starving. I don't know if I'm coming out tomorrow. Knox said he has stuff to do or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get one more big one. If not, I don't, I don't really know what if not, but we're going to figure it out. All right, guys. End of the day report. We had a pretty good day. We had about 23 and a half pounds for our best five. Uh, we couldn't hit that 25 pound mark, but it was all right. We set 30, 23 pounds at the beginning of the day and we hit it. Uh, we caught all of our fish today. We didn't. We actually didn't catch a ton. We probably caught like 10, but they're all pretty good bites. We caught all of our big fish today off brush piles on a big old monster. This is a 10 and a half version. This is a 7.6 
heavy skeleton nano by Castaway. Uh, this longer rod was actually pretty pretty paramount in getting these fish in the boat. Last week we were using the 7-2 heavy and it just seemed like we just didn't have enough leverage to be able to set the hook hard enough and get these fish in from far away. So we made that switch and it ended up paying off big time. We had one that was six, two that were five, and the one that was four, and then our small one was like three and a half. Most of the fish we caught today, or all the fish we caught today were on brush piles on points in that 12 to 14 foot range. We actually, usually when I try to fish brush piles, I wanna graph over them and make sure that I can see bass in them, but we actually couldn't do that today. I That must mean that they were in the thickest part of it, in the very bottom of it, so we couldn't be, see them but it was key that there was bait. We had bluegill, crappie, and bait, or shad up around it. So uh, that was definitely key. So we ended up just fishing these brush piles that I had marked instead of graphing over them. And I think that helped in getting the bigger fish to bite, not spooking them with the big motor. Uh, Cause they bit, they ended up biting first cast. But once, once the uh, sky's cleared up, you can see it's kind of blue sky now. It's real sunny, got a little windier. But once that happened, we stopped getting bit. I'm sure we could have gone up shallow or something like that. They had been biting somewhere in the lake, but we were just too hard headed to adjust the conditions. And I think that's what hurt us in the end. But we still had a good time. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and uh, hopefully we'll get you guys next time.